everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how I've made this circular or fish bowl style gift bag. I actually made this maybe three weeks ago now during a Facebook Live, but because I've moved and uh, yeah, just everything's been a bit crazy, I have forgot to do this one. So I'm surprised it's actually survived. It's still intact. It's not crushed or anything. It's a great size. Now today I am going to change it a little bit, but what I'll do is I'll link the original Facebook Live for this style below, because what I'm not going to do on today's is do the flat sides. Just going to do a slightly flat base just so that the, the bag can stand up and it's kind of landed. Although even that's a little bit, no there we go, that was fine. It's the sides, I don't know, I just think I'm not going to do them. But if you do want to have a look at that video then just check on that link. Open up the top, inside you've got lots of room in there for lots of treats and it's just, yeah, just another nice fun style and something a little bit different. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so for today's, I've used my circle cutter. I've had this for years. It's just a great tool to have in your stash, and I know lots of you do have it. As always, I'll link all the supplies below, but this is the X-Cut brand, but there's lots of other ones out there. Um, so I'll keep that one. Although I've cut everything, I'll show you what to do. Then for the flower, I've got this gorgeous one here that I've made and that was using the sunflower band dies from Bright Rosa, but you could also use this one, which is the flower band, because I know, again, these I've had in my stash for a long time. I, I always pull them out. They're just great for toppers and things like that. And I just use my X-Cut uh, corner punch there just to round off the edges for the lid. So first of all, um, we do the scoring pieces while I've got the scoreboard here. Now I've cut loads of pieces. I've just left a little bit left here to show you. So just kind of ignore the um, kind of the sharp teeth um, on these strips for the minute but you'll want two pieces that are four by 12 okay now I think in the Facebook live I did actually do it shorter so if you've only got letter size which would be 11 inches or a four you can still do that so if you want to do two pieces of four by 11 or two pieces of four by three and three quarters then that's fine then you will need to score both pieces along the four inch side you'll want to score at half an inch and at three and a half okay I'm not going to score over mine again because I have already cut into that but you can see there half an inch all the way down and three and a half all the way down do that on both and then on one of them just along the 12 inch side just score at half you're not going to fold it or anything but it's just a guide to where we need to stick this one over the top okay just so that you get that exact half inch Fold and burnish the score lines, and you can see what I've started to do there, but I will talk about that in a moment. And then for the lid, I've got a piece here which is six and a quarter by six and a half, and it's along the six and a half inch side that you want to score at half an inch and at three and a half. Fold and burnish, and then that's where I've just rounded the corners, but that's completely optional. If you want to have your pattern paper on the front, I've got this pretty matte layer here, and it's six by two and three quarters and again I just caught, just rounded the edges there and the gorgeous paper pad I've used is this one it's by Craft Sensations I picked it up from the range and it's the pastels one it was a while ago but they do tend to bring these out and repeat them so you may well be able to find this one still but it's absolutely gorgeous and you can see it has the foiling running through some of the papers as well right so that's all the scoring with the scoreboard so I'm going to get rid of that you want to cut two eight inch circles so if you've got one of these or you you know you're thinking about buying one they're not very expensive. I'm just popping the little dial there which you unscrew and then you can move along. You can go up to 12, 13 inches I think it is. So I've just popped it on eight and it's got a blade. Just take off the little cap there and then you just pop that on your cardstock, push that down and cut around and it will cut this perfectly. So you want two of those that are eight inch diameter. Then with one of them, just with my trimmer, I popped it in so that this lines up with seven inches so there's my seven inches you can see there the bottom of it and just cut that and then all I can do to make sure that they're spot on is I'm going to sit this one over the top line it up in my trimmer make sure that's all straight which is about there take that one away and trim that off okay so now those are perfect now also what you want to do you may be able to cut through both at the same time is pop it in and you just want to take a small piece not much at all just a very very small slither but you want to make sure that this stays completely straight so I'm actually going to oh look, like it sits perfectly with the edge of my scoreboard there that's the seven with this one here so just make sure it's straight and then I'm just going to bring it in just a little bit not even one eighth of an inch I'm just cutting a little bit away 
didn't work very well on that one. Let's just retrim that. There we go. That little bit there will help to allow the bag to stand up. It will just land it. What I might do is just take a little bit more off actually. It's up to you, you know, at the end of the day, how much you want to remove from the bottom. But you need to make sure that both are the same and that this one is perfectly parallel with this one. So my kind of flat piece here is just over one and three quarters. All right. So you can see there you've got that kind of fishbowl look now because we've got that slightly flat base. Okay, and then for the pattern piece, I've got the foil here. So this is actually going to go on the front. So I've just, you want to move this down to seven and a half diameter. And then, because I don't want to use all this card, so I'm going to try and make sure I just see where that's going to sit. There we go. So just hold it down in the middle and then you can just cut that one out. Okay, now you see how this one would have been the same, just over the top there. What I did to just cut that bit there is just sit this over the top and pop it in there so that you've got a nice border. Ignore the bottom here, just sit it in there and then with a pencil just come down so you've got that same border on each side and then I'm just going to pop this in my trimmer and just line up those pencil lines and now that one will sit perfectly in there with that little pink border. So do that twice. So I've got one for the front, one for the back. So I'm actually going to stick those ones down now and if you haven't stuck that one down you can do that one as well. Okay, so we've got those three pieces ready. So now onto these ones here. Now there is a tool that Fiskars do, because it was actually quite funny during the live, um, everybody had to painfully watch me cut all of these teeth into the sides. And it got everybody talking about, wouldn't it be great if there was a punch or something? Now we've found out that there are. And there's also, um, Fiskars do one, but it's part of a system. So you can buy the attachments and this design is the attachment, is one of the attachments. Um, and I'm sure, you know, some of you may well have the punches as well that you can you know, um, literally just go through really quickly to create these sides here. But I didn't and I don't. So all you do is we're cutting up within the, within the half inch sections here. So all I'm doing is about a quarter of an inch width here on each of those teeth. Just cut, it doesn't take long. I mean, it took me maybe 10 minutes. Um, so but try not to go over that score line, otherwise you're gonna see it. Now when you get to the ends, you want to make sure that you, yeah, you end with this bit flat because that's going to stick inside. So don't worry if one's a little bit smaller, it's really not going to make any difference. But you don't want them to be too thick because when we go to curve it around, you'll get kind of like a crease and you don't want that. So that's what you want to do. So you've got two that look like that. Now we want to stick them together. So I'm putting glue within that half inch section where we scored just that one and then just make sure you put a little bit onto those teeth. Don't worry if the teeth don't line up, it's again not gonna matter, just make sure the score lines line up so we've got one long piece. Okay, so now that's dry, what you will also wanna do, because it will just help, is just with your bone folder, just put a curve into this, because this is the shape, so be careful not to damage the teeth, but that's the shape that it's gonna obviously want to go, so if you already kind of Bend that card, it's just going to make life a lot easier. So now all of these are going to fold in. So you should have already burnished the score lines, but they're all going to go in and stick around each side. So if I bring this one in, for example, and it's going to go in here. Now, if you've got anything overhanging, we'll trim it off at the end. So don't worry. I, I just wanted, you know, I'd rather you have too much and then you can decide how far you want it to go round. So and this is why I said it's fine for you to use letter paper size um, or whatever. But what you want to do is I'm going to use a quick grab glue. Now you want to make sure that this score line sits within the middle of this. Um, you know, as, as near as you can get it. You know, don't worry if it's a little bit out. But I'm just going to pop some glue. Actually, what I did in the live is I found it easier to put the glue in here because then what I said you could always do if you didn't like the way it looked inside is you can cut some more cardstock. So I'm going to put the glue there, sit this one in the middle of that flat piece and you want to make sure that you butt it right up 
to the edge. Focus on that flat bit first because you want to make sure you keep it flat and then start to curve it as it curves around that circle. Once you get going, it's easy to do. It's just getting the, just starting off. So you can see there now, if I turn it over, you see how that's started to stick around that corner. So it's easier to add the glue onto this piece. So just pull that in and then you can get in there and just put some more glue. And try and use a quick grab glue because it will make life much, much easier for you. And all I'm doing is I'm just following around, pushing with my fingers inside to the edge. Okay, like so. And then what we can do is we can trim across that in a moment. And then again on this side here. Okay, so now I'm just going to trim this. I'm just going to cut down. Um, it's just two and one eighth. So I'm just going to put um, on this side here, just mark down two and one eighth, and then I can just trim across. So uh, I'm just going to very neatly cut straight across there, like so. Okay. And again, just measure. Just you know, don't just assume this one will be the same. Just uh, just measure it. But it is, it's bang on two and one eighth. So again, I'm just gonna pop it on this side. See, this was actually um, plenty on the other size that I done because that was slightly taller. So, you know, do check that one out because many of you may, may prefer and want to make it a little bit taller and bigger. Now, this one is just gonna go on exactly the same way. It will obviously be a little bit more fiddly because you have gotta get your hand inside, but Again, once you start it off, it's easy to do. So I'm just gonna carry on in exactly the same way. Just make sure that you, with this one, I would start from the top actually, because you wanna make sure that, that you know it does line up with the top of the bag. So I'm just gonna pinch that one in place and then just work my way around. Now this one is gonna go over here. And you're just going to stick it onto the back and it gives it a really nice effect. I think it just finishes it off and it's slightly larger. I made sure that the opening width, this was slightly bigger. So I'm just going to pop some glue on. Yeah, I'm going to use this glue just onto this piece. You don't need to go right to the edges because there is a little bit of an overhang, but this glue just rubs away anyway, so I'm not too worried. And then just make sure you've got an even amount hanging over each side. So you can just look in the side here and there's about half an inch on each side I think I worked it out. So I'm just going to bring that down and then you can see in here and just make sure you've got that even amount and can just rub away any glue there. You want to have it exactly the same width as the opening you can but with that you can then see in it whereas this way it completely conceals any gift that you might have inside. I've just stuck my velcro dot on the lid there so that closes up nicely and then I've got this piece here which is one inch by 12 and in the scoreboard along the 12 inch side you want to score it one inch and 11 and I've cut this piece that's three quarters of an inch by 10 and it's going to sit right in there right up to the score lines if you want to bring it up a bit shorter you can now if you want to do little matte layers to go in the squares you can but I'm going to put an embellishment that's going to match the embellishment for the for the center of the flower there and I'm going to stick that one right there so I put a little curve into that but what I'm going to do is stick this on first um, and then as it's drying kind of you know curve it into that same shape because once this dries um, it dries nice and hard so it will stay in that nice curved shape so that will sit perfectly within the two score lines there and then I can just kind of just shape that just up to the score lines because the score lines are going to fold out like this and then they are going to go on here but I think this one I'm going to have them quite close together so you have that kind of look I think it looks really sweet so I'm going to stick that down I'm going to stick that down with some hot glue and I'm just going to find some nice embellishments to go in the center okay and then I've got these absolutely gorgeous embellishments which I'm going to add some hot glue to just because 
they're the first thing that always seems to fall off but these are faceted and they're iridescent so with the way they catch the light and they match anything so they match with that foiling there as well so let's grab this one here and then I'm going to do just again a little bit of hot glue and just either side of where the handle is there and again it just catches the light and because we've just cut that piece on the bottom of the bag to make it flat you can see there it stands up but it doesn't take away from the circular shape because you've cut away such a small amount um, you know it's still when people look at it the first thing they see is a circular bag okay so there is the finished gift bag I think it's adorable really do like this handle style I think it's so much fun and just all that foiling that you kind of you know see when it hits the light and that flower is just gorgeous so yeah I hope you've liked it as I said at the beginning if you want to see how I made the slightly larger one that slightly different size just check and uh, click on that Facebook link I will also link in here a circular gift bag that I made that split open that was really nice and I'm sure I've done another circular style so I'll link that as well if you click on my face here that will subscribe you to my channel and if you hit the notification bell you'll be notified every time I upload a new tutorial so thank you for watching and I'll be back again very soon bye